Let's take a look at the heat flux vectors again. Highlight total heat flux in the tree. And you can see that the, the heat flux is very high at this corner. So relative to that, those, um, the heat flux here is very small. I can try increasing the length. Um, that helps a bit. But it might be better to just use a uniform length for the vectors. And let me back off on the length here. So now the arrows show me the direction of the heat flux and the colors give me the magnitude. So let's plot the heat flux crossing the bottom boundary as a function of x. To do that, I first need to create what ANSYS calls a path along the bottom boundary. So let's do that. Go to the top of the tree, highlight model in the tree, and select construction geometry. And path is a type of construction geometry. So I will select that. And I can give it um, a better name. So I'll right click and say rename, and I'll call it y equal to zero. Enter. The number of sampling points along the bottom boundary, I'll say 100. And the start is at 0, 0. And the end is at 1, 0. So if I come here and click in that and give the end as 1, 0, and click Enter. And so I see that the path starts at the, there and ends there. And so that looks right. 